This is Jessica Williamson, and you're watching Zapro. So, Barack Obama has been named Smog Maker of 2007 by our friends at Smog Blog. And that ain't good. The Smog Maker Award goes to a person that sows confusion and delays action on climate change. They say Barack Obama may not be the worst offender of the Spinmeisters, but he's the biggest disappointment. He's campaigning on a greenhouse gas reduction target that the US won't have to meet for 42 years. And he's got no plans to commit to the Kyoto Protocol. And just for reference, the US is the only country in the developed world that hasn't ratified the Kyoto Protocol. Come on, Obama, you can do better. So we did have a whole second half to the story, but unfortunately it resulted in a yelling match at our studio. Yes, we decided to ask you guys, who do you think is a green ass candidate? You can let us know in our comments. If you commute in Stockholm, Sweden, run a little faster and maybe wear a little more deodorant. 125,000 hot and sweaty people run through the station every day. And up until now, the heat has been a nuisance. And now those crafty Swedes have figured out a way to make use of all that human hotness and save a little energy with it. The city is installing a $30,000 ventilation system that captures all the rising hot air and pumps it into a new office building located next door. And believe it or not, all that heat will continue consistently offset the building's heating cost by about 20%, which would save a lot of cash. But the question we're all asking is, will the building stink? So Swedes, keep it clean, because armpit is not the right fragrance for a board meeting. And now for alternative autos. Cars and four wheels. The idea seems to go hand in hand, but not for some. Check out these three wheeled wonders. This is the Corbin Raven. It's powered by a small three cylinder engine and gets about 100 miles per gallon. It's not unlike the NMG, which is similar, which uses an electric motor that tops out at about 70 miles per hour and gets about 30 miles per charge. And check out this beast. It's called the Silence PT2. Developed by EBW and T-Rex, it's got a top speed of 125 miles per hour, a range up to 250 miles, and it's all electric. It's not cheap at $42,000, but when you're driving, you're going to be having so much fun that you won't care. And of course, you won't have to pay for gas. And if all this horsepower is a little too quick for your speed, let me introduce you to the smallest production car ever made. It's the PLP50. It was 54 inches long, 41 inches wide, it had a 50cc two-stroke engine and got about 100 miles per gallon. And you weren't going anywhere fast in this thing though. Its top speed was about 25 miles per hour. But if you couldn't find parking, you could just take it in with you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe at firepop.com.